Okay, so I thought this would be a cool idea. Um, I was actually uh, talking with Wes, and we were talking about uh, tracking and insight and all that other kind of stuff, and uh, and I realized that that would actually make a pretty cool video um, to show you a, a, vid a video that has gotten a lot of views, and where traffic comes from, and and basically you know a way to to understand the insight tool. Um, that YouTube offers. It's the it's the analytics, the Google analytics for YouTube. Okay, so I'm logged into um, the very first YouTube channel I ever created uh, a few years back. This is when I was working for a video game company, and they said we want more traffic. And I said, how about video? And they said, go for it. And then I had to figure out how to do video. So, um, but it all worked out really well. So uh, this is my video game channel, Xbox Cheater. I'm going to show you the the channel here. Right, so so uh, this video here was a video that I made uh, for 2009, the top 10 best Xbox 360 games to buy for Christmas 2009, part one, because you know it was better to split them up. So uh, so this is this is what uh, you know, and, I, and I've played around with a couple of different things. This is a link to a video to another video that talks about um, uh, getting free crap or something like that, and then I think I, this is me testing CPA offers. Um, and uh, that's a whole other story uh, that I can't get into. So, <laughs> so I'm going to click on my name and I'm going to go down to videos. And I want to show you um, uh, this is this is actually a video that I wanted to make for Play and Trade uh, because I wanted to work for Play and Trade. I wanted to figure out how to you know do more video game stuff, but uh, somebody watched it and then they just didn't get back to me. Um, and I've got a bunch of other you know things. Uh, you know stuff that I've played with. You know it's been a while, um, and see this is where we start getting uh, more and more views. Uh, we've got fourteen thousand on this one. We got one hundred and twenty-five comments. I mean, very. Uh, the video game community is a very, very vocal community, um, and this is when I was trying out. Uh, <laughs> I was trying out um, uh, Google Voice, and uh, I even have a phone number. You know, you can call Xbox Cheater, and you can. You that was my my uh, my handle. Right, I was at you know the, the the website I was promoting was xboxcheatcodes.com. So of course you know the, the you know, SEO and everything. I decided to become Xbox Cheater. That was my my pseudo name, if you will, if you will. Uh, so uh, here's this. So we've got uh, this is you know testing me testing that, and then um, and then I've got uh, these are three different options. I said okay, what should my next review be about? And uh, you know you vote and you tell me and. Uh, uh, so I, I split up the videos, and I had little annotation links at the end of the video to say, "Hey, go here and check this out." If you know, if you want me to do a review on Mass Effect Two, go to you know, click here. And then that video said, "You picked Mass Effect Two. Tell me why." And blah blah blah. You know, again, interacting with my audience. Um, and this is when I was trying to push to become a YouTube partner, but a lot of my content that I used uh, was actually uh, copywritten. So despite the massive amount of, of uh, subscribers that I had, uh, YouTube wouldn't let me become a YouTube partner because a lot of my content had copyright stuff. And even though I deleted it, um, they still they still wouldn't let me be a YouTube partner. So as we go down, you know, we've got lots and lots of views. Now we've got uh, you know part two for it has three thousand eight hundred three three hundred and eighty two thousand. Blah blah blah. But what's the one that I wanted? There we go. Yeah, dang near a million views. All right. This is uh, this is the top ten best Xbox 360 games to buy for Christmas, part one and part two. Um, and this is I I did this in 2008. This is this is one of my very very first videos. So the reason why I picked this video is because it has a lot of views. Okay. Now really quick, I clicked on Insight. Okay, Insight. Uh, if we go if we go back here again. Uh, we've got uh, we've got this the the video here seven hundred and fifty seven hundred fifteen thousand views a uh, thousand comments and even some video responses you know lots and lots of feedback okay um, and I click on insight um, at, right here so again so you're not uh, don't get lost here um, and then this gives you a lot of data about your videos but uh, when you when you first start out. Um, you have very little data, and so I mean, this is basically like again, it, it's like Google Analytics for video. 
Um, and so we've got a bunch of different things and this thing right here the the call to action uh, this has to do with the promoted video campaign uh, creating putting an ad on your own video um, which I mean of course that was like one of the first things that I did and and I wanted to check out the effectiveness of that ad and so that's what it does it'll track that too so this is only if you have a promoted the, the, if you have a video specifically that, has, that is a promoted video and this was you know uh, by the time I started doing this I, I, I transitioned from promoting um, the xboxcheatcodes.com website to my own blog website of my own persona xboxcheater.com uh, which I haven't done don't check it out there's nothing there it's not exciting it's not anything so I haven't been doing anything with it <laughs> um, so so like a uh, call to action for example okay so oh yeah this this call to action this had this was uh, more with the CPA stuff that I was testing um, and as you can see it had you know pretty crappy click-through rate but still that's 917 clicks that I didn't have before um, and uh, and you know it was it was it was it was worth it it was worth the test and and uh, you know I was getting a lot of organic traffic anyway so I figured hey might as well throw in an ad but that's when I realized that you know sh sending people straight to an affiliate offer is not very effective get them on your list put them through the sales funnel and market that way don't ever try and sh shove people off to an affiliate program or, or affiliate product or CPA never a good idea um, but again that's my personal stand a lot of people seem to disagree with me um, so there's there's that but that's only for promoted videos so let's go let's so let's discuss everything uh, everything here so we've got views right here that obviously this tells you the amount of views it tells you the lifetime of worldwide views of this video you know and then the, the videos in the selected region um, you could say okay this is November 2008 I want to say November let's go back um, Okay, we need to. <laughs> we'll do uh, 2009, right? Right. So now, now it'll tell us what happened between November 21st of 2008 and August 31st of 2009, and we had a total of uh, in the selected region 165,000 views um, in just under a year. And then we can start uh, digging down a little bit more. Uh, we can say, okay, let's show the unique users, and then it it shows you the unique users. Obviously. Um, there's not going to be a ton of people who are going to watch the same top 10 video over and over again. Um, but I mean, I, I, I could be surprised. So, uh, discovery, here's the other thing. This is what I was, when I was talking to, uh, Wes, um, that a lot of people don't understand this part and it's actually really cool. Um, you can say, you know, you can, you can specify down, you know, links to the, to follow this video. Um, location of where uh, where location of view or when played that's if somebody grabbed the video and embedded it on their website uh, you can have your stack chart you can have your lined chart I mean you know there's a lot of different ways I like this stack chart because it looks prettier to me so now uh, it says links to follow to this video so you can get okay YouTube search and then now it starts drilling down further for you and says okay Xbox 360 games was was the most searched in, searched term um, when they found it top 10 best of I mean so this gives you an idea of not only like you know it, it reconfirms your own keyword research if you if you do keyword research prior to creating a, a video which you should be doing <laughs> so um, but it, it also solidifies but it can also tell you uh, keywords that you didn't really think of right so I mean as you go further and further you see more and more variations I mean I was I was pretty thorough with the with the keywords that I used I mean it was very very heavy, heavy-handed with uh, with the you know Xbox 360 games, top 10 best, so on and so forth. So come back to view all discovery. Then you can say, okay, let's let's see the related videos. Where do where do what other videos were people watching when they saw my video in the suggested videos and then clicked over to mine? So then you know I could even go as far as saying, okay, well top 10 best Xbox games 2008 in no particular order this was 24 percent of the views that came from the related YouTube videos okay so I can go back to that guy look at more of his videos and even go as far as start um, like like uh, friending all of his subscribers and stuff um, because obviously his his demographic is close to you know very close to mine so I can say okay this is a, a great place or or you could build a relationship with that that person right um, and you could start making videos together and uh, you know connect your channels together in your YouTube channels right there's a module in the YouTube channel where you can have friends and uh, and other channels and stuff like that and display their other channels and get this kind of miniature network and stuff like that so um, there's also upcoming games that's another keyword that uh, that didn't come up in the uh, in in the discovery 
that I didn't think about. But yeah, upcoming games, that's just like, um, you know, the top 10 or uh, soon to come or previews, things like that. That's another keyword I could leverage right now. Um, at the time the video game left see this is also why it's good to also be a part of your a part of your audience because you can kind of disseminate a little bit of the information of what happened this game left for dead just barely had come out like in 2008 and it's a it's a very very popular game and a lot of people love playing it and so it's now one of valves uh, that's the 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 publisher is one of their top selling games and stuff so they're really pushing that now but the but um, but this one title, you kind of scratch your head and go, well, wait, that's a pretty old game, but it's also a pretty old video. So there you go. Um, and so as we go through this and, you know, we jump back and here's the thing that surprised the heck out of me. I mean, I made this video in 2008 and it's, you know, it's a top 10 best Xbox games for Christmas part one. And then I, you know, since it did so, it did so well, I did 2009 and then I, I just got kind of burned out in 2010 and I didn't make it. Maybe I'll make another one for 2011. I'm not sure, but again, that's neither here nor there. But the thing that surprised me is that this is 2008, but then we come over here and we go 2009 to 2010, and people are still looking at the videos for 2008 from the previous year before, which is you know, which is not relevant content, but yet people are still watching it. They 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 liked the content, and as you can see. Um, it, you know, we got a, a, a spike in traffic and I was actually also doing, uh, you know, more videos myself and, you know, kind of promoting and pushing, as you can see, that's, that's more of this spike here. Um, I was really, you know, I was really rocking the, <laughs> I was really, I was rocking the, um, the promotion, right? Um, and yeah, I, I, I still enjoy doing it and I'm, I'm going to figure something out with video games. Um, but still, this, this is, this is, a, this is a test to show you, or not a test, but a, a an example to show you. Uh, videos over time that have done really well. This is kind of what it looks like. This is the demographics because not all of this, not all of this information is populated right away when you make a video because they need information to look at. So um, that's what we're that's what we're going with. So we've got YouTube search people searching in the search engine, and we've got people like related videos. So they they're watching a different video and then they see yours, and you can drill down to that. YouTube other pages. So we've got. Uh, uh, other. This is just like anything that doesn't fit into any of these. So this is the. Um, um, I believe this is the root file, like the the root, like your channel, right? Um, I, I'm not I'm not exactly sure about all of these things because these are kind of weird, um, weird kind of subdomains. But like the inbox, like uh, you can you can you can send people messages, but you can also recommend videos as well. So you can you can say I want to recommend my video to these people. Um, so when they see it in the inbox, if you sent them a message saying, you know, watch this, or somebody else went to somebody else and said, here, you should watch this, and then they clicked on it from within the inbox. Um, this is from Slash View Playlist. Obviously, this is when, you know, people were actually, they were searching around, and then they found the playlist because I put um, all of the videos inside of a playlist because playlists have their own unique URL. They have their own SEO that can be amped up and, and whatnot. So there were people who found my videos uh, through playlists and watch the videos in the playlist, and then that's where it count. You know, that's where it came from. It just it all still counts as a view to the one video. Um, this is just browse. They were just you know browsing around, um, and then of course you know just after they log in, there's there's a there's a screen. If we if we go here, if uh, my my Xbox sheet, there's there are are recommendations uh, that people have. Obviously, because you know this is a video gaming channel, there's a ton of recommendations. Of, uh, of videos about video games because I ran out and started friending and subscribing to other people within my my niche and uh, as you can see we've got a pretty uh, you know pretty big selection of recommendations so this is this is the forward slash login I believe uh, where there's a bunch of recommendations and so if we come back to this this is that that's what the uh, forward slash login um, is talking about uh, my favorites. This means that either somebody who is watching their own favorite video, or somebody's going to someone else's channel and then watching the video that they favorited. That makes sense, kind of thing. And then uh, forward slash index. I'm pretty sure that's just uh, uh, the home YouTube homepage because that's usually what index means is the homepage. So that said, I mean that may not be exactly everything perfectly explained. You know, like this is what everything is. Um, but for the most part, that's you know that's that's what we've got. So. Let's jump back to all discovery, Google search, and look at that. Uh, I mean, I'm you know I'm getting play on, on uh, on Google as well. And for this particular region, we've got uh, you know 3,500. If we if we drag this out, drag whoop, the whole way. 
Now, of course, it's going to change the data because we're looking at the whole thing from 2008 to 2011, but we can see a big picture. You know, and then so as far as Google, 1% um, uh, of the total 715,000 views came from a Google search. There's 11,000 views. Uh, Google's responsible for 11,000 views of watching the video. So again, that's more proof. Again, like you really needed proof <laughs> of of the effectiveness of of um, page you know page rank in Google, and then uh, on to YouTube. Now, as far as to to answer your question, that I'm sure you're already thinking, did my videos get on the first page of Google? At that point, no, it didn't, and I don't think that they're on the first page uh, right now. Uh, by the time I really understood and grasped uh, the you know how to get rank on the first page of Google with uh, with YouTube videos, I kind of gotten burned out on the whole video game thing, so I really didn't uh, did, really didn't try that. And I mean, gamers like to share videos uh, like a lot, especially you know videos about games. So people like, gamers are posting on Facebook. I mean, the, like video games and video game companies that that upload videos to YouTube basically have a built-in crowdsource engine from their fan base because they will just they will link back the crap out of everything not because they understand link backing but they understand how to do it and then they want to prove a point so they're like they link here and here and here and here and here just out of out of a, a natural desire to you know express themselves and explain things and whatever so not only do they have the capability but they just do it and it's amazing crowdsourcing you know so uh that being said uh, it, it's it's difficult to compete in, in in the in the video game space simply based on the fact that the profit margin is so low on many of the products uh, because the demand is so high. Uh, but then you also got this massive like you know if you're at the top man you just got all sorts of things going rocking out for you. But again I don't want to get too distracted here. <laughs> Jump back to all discovery and keep going. Uh, YouTube other pages uh, no link refer. Um, this is basically, you know, we don't know how this happened. It was either through email or through instant messenger, whatever. We couldn't figure out exactly how these people got here. So they're going to be jammed right into this. So there's 15,000 views that are just a big question mark. We don't really know how they got here, but they got here. So this is what we've got. Um, external websites. This is mostly people uh, like, uh, well, it looks like the external website is 90% Google. But these are people, most of the time, it's, uh, it's, it's people who have uh, embedded the video or taken the link and, and stuck it in there somewhere or you know again it, this it's saying this video is hanging out somewhere else besides YouTube uh, and then going down further uh, YouTube video annotation okay now this is this is somebody who made an annotation in another video and said click here and watch this video now what an annotation is is a little note if you can go back through into the back end and you can make that little note a link to anywhere else on YouTube subscription pages playlists YouTube channels or even a specific video so somebody somewhere said hey um, you should watch this video and then they made an annotation and told people to click on that annotation and they went to this video so over the past few years um, there's been 2185 people who have watched the video because of that um, and people who were watching the YouTube channel page itself, they you know either they got to the they got to the page somehow, or they were looking for more information, finding out okay what other videos has he done, and this that's the the YouTube the the channel page. Uh, featured video, I was very fortunate. This is basically um, YouTube saying YouTube promoting the video for you and not charging you for it, saying that this is such good quality and this is so relevant, then we're going to go ahead and feature you. So um, when, you, when you're searching around and stuff, and like just like uh, with promoted videos like AdWords, there's like the highlighted ones up at the top, and it says promoted video. Those cost money, and that's a part of the video, the promoted video campaign that YouTube has. But then there's also... Um, featured videos where where YouTube will push the video up to the top and just say, hey, no, this is other good content that we're going to feature on our website. Um, you don't get to control that. You don't get to you know opt in for it. You can't say you know, hey, we're good friends. They're human editors making these decisions on what to what should be featured and what shouldn't be featured, and that's that's what it is. So it's a total luck of the draw sort of thing. As you can see, I've, you know, I only got 430 views at the time of the video being featured, um, but at the time that was like it, it was like right after I had, I had set up the video, so it was like a boom, 400 430 views just like that. And of course, YouTube advertising when I was playing around with it, um, 
uh, we can even click on that and it'll tell us you know okay promoted video so uh, this would also tell you if it was the YouTube video targeting campaign if it was on other people's videos um, or if it was promoted video promoted video it was in the search engine it was related to certain keywords again Xbox 360 games that kind of stuff basic you know keyword uh, keyword stuff there um, the other side of this if we jump into here and we have to, let's uh, jump back to the videos um, that one okay all right, so so here we are. This is like I said. This is if we click on this right here, this will take us to uh, a CPA offer, and uh, and that's that. You know, that's what I was testing. But again, going straight to a CPA offer, or something like that, just doesn't doesn't work out very well. Um, but still, um, I had this little this little pop up right that I want that I that you know I could advertise and be like, hey, check this out. Um, you know, get a free Xbox and stuff. And so there are, I, I know there's, there's ways to, to, to move forward with this and actually have CPA stuff. I just haven't got to that point yet. So if you guys have any ideas, by all means, I'd love to collaborate, but eh, now we're getting a little less relevant. Um, so uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you here is if we click on this show video statistics, this will also give us some, some more information. If you'd like, if because this is on all YouTube videos, so if you want, you can go ahead and click private and no one else will be able to see this. But this gives us a little bit more data and this is this is also something you can do looking at other people's videos and find out, okay, we're, we're, what do we got here? Uh, first thing, uh, we've got first view from mobile device, 67,000 views. Now think about this. I mean, everybody's talking a lot about uh, about mobile marketing and all this other kind of stuff. This is proof right here. People are watching these videos from a mobile device, and 67,000 views is nothing to sneeze at. Um, the first referral from related video, top 10 Xbox games in no particular order. That was that was again the 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 suggested videos, the things right over here, right? So that's eleven thousand views. That's a that's a big chunk. It goes down, you know, uh, you know, YouTube search, YouTube search, YouTube search, YouTube search. This was a heavily, heavily searched term. So it takes it takes um, a handful of statistics and say, okay, these are the biggest things here. So you can look at all the statistics and find out, okay, um, where did these different things happen? And you can kind of get an idea of not only your own but also others as well, and find out how it's being discovered and kind of do this little this little um, you know spying on people. Uh, with data that's already there, but no one looks at this stuff. I mean, they they barely even acknowledge it, and it's just weird that they don't. Um, but this is a relatively new thing. I think it's probably like I don't know, three or four months old. Um, but I, I don't see a whole lot of of information about it um, either. So uh, so there there it is. There's there's insight. There's all the stuff, all the bits and pieces that that kind of come together. Uh, the analytics, and again, the other side of it that you can actually use this piece to kind of spy on other other uh, videos and other other um, other people and, and check out how they're hair, how they're doing things as well so um, there it is if you guys have any questions I'm sure I, co I covered a lot of things kind of glazed over it um, let me know I, I'd love to find out uh, what more you guys want to see and hear and understand and so on and so forth